In this tutorial, we'll look at how to disable or block form inputs in HTML. All right, so I have a simple example here. It's just a form. And in the form, we basically have a username and the email and a submit button, right? So very, very typical uh, form. And in the browser, in it would look like this, right? So I could fill out my username. I can type right now and an email, right? I can type right now. And then I would submit it. It would get if I click on this, it would submit to this um, URL or address that you provide here, right? So that would be your server. Okay, so let me zoom this a little bit. Okay, now the the most common way to block an input or to disable it is to simply use the disabled attribute. So you can just write disabled. When I do this and refresh, you can see it grays out, and I can I cannot focus it anymore, right? So I cannot do I cannot select it. I cannot focus it. It's grayed out. This is like the strongest possible measure you can take. You could say to disable or or block a form input. So there's another one called read only. So the other one let's let's use read only. So this is another attribute that you can specify. And if I save here and refresh, you can see the the field still looks the same, and I can also focus it. But if I try to type, nothing happens, right? So typically what you would do with read only is to also specify a value, right? So maybe the value would be um, example at gmail.com, right? So then this would be um, like the read only um, value here. I cannot change it, but I can still select it. I just cannot type, right? right? So you would need to use JavaScript to manipulate this. So one other difference is that now when I submit this, whatever the username is, this is disabled, right? So this would actually not get sent to the server, but the read only value will still will still be sent, will still be included in, in uh, the submission. Also, one other difference is that if you use required, for example, right? So maybe you've seen this before required on an input. So this, the, 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 the form cannot be submitted until this field has been uh, filled out. With required, it, it actually will not have an effect, right? So required does not have an effect because it, it, its value cannot be changed by the user, right? So the required loses its uh, effect. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.